Hi everyone, it's me Carla, the face behind Foxy Luna. I wanted to give you all some tips today on how I do my product photography whenever I have my daughter model my items. And also just if you are a rep as well, um, I just wanted to give you all some tips. I love photos, that's my favorite part of everything, whether it's for my shop or for other people's shops. I just love photos. They give me so much joy. So. Today we are taking pictures and items from small shops. Let me show you real quick. <laughs> this is my toddler. Her bow is from a shop, her top, her jeans, her shoes, everything small shop today, head to toe. So we are going to attempt some pictures and let me show you the area. This area is right by my house. It literally took us no time to walk over here. And we usually come out here about like, sorry for the noise about three to four times a week i try to make it so my toddler is used to taking so that's tip number one is get your baby toddler child teen whoever you're taking photos of used to taking pictures so we are very um what's it what's the word well acquainted with this area and my toddler loves it she just loves exploring there's so many little Whoa, sorry, there was a bug. There's so many different, you know, ins and outs of this area. Again. And lots of different backgrounds. I prefer, you know, a nice plant background, sometimes a tree background. Even, there's even some walls over there. And some different backgrounds over here. Hopefully you can see that. So, that's my other tip, is to find a nice open area for pictures. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is the time of day. I usually prefer to go closer to, to sunset, but this was a spur of the moment type of thing. So the third tip is to go closer to sunset because that will minimize shadows and give you the best lighting in my opinion. That's up to you. And then my fourth tip is to not make the outing just about the photos, like have fun with it too. I think that works best for toddlers. And babies is if you make the outing just about being outside taking some fresh air in you know and not so much about the pictures I don't know why I'm all winded not so much about the pictures because then it becomes you know this like work thing and it shouldn't feel like work it should just be fun so now we're going to try and find a good spot for y'all and I'm going to do different areas to show you all how we take pictures so one of my favorite sorry I don't know why it's so zoomed out I guess that works. One of my favorite things to do is get my toddler to be next to a tree so that she can get her hand on there. Agáralo. Agáralo bien, no te va a arruinar tus uñas. She's very particular because she got her little fake nails on. But, so, and then the next thing I do is I get down on my knees. Hopefully there's no bugs, but I get down on my knees at her level. And by now I would be snapping away, snapping away. I'm um, trying to get different angles if you can and like I mentioned earlier this is the perfect lighting there's no shadows anywhere one of my pet peeves is when I get um, photos and there's a whole bunch of shadows in the image for me that's very distracting so you want it to be um, minimal distractions so then you know of course your toddler doesn't know what's going on so it's okay if they walk away if they explore again this is an outing just to have fun it's not solely about the pictures but another tip i have this is the fifth tip i think is to use either live focus for androids or portrait mode for iphones that is going to blur out the background and get it minimal because a lot of um shop owners prefer to have very minimal backgrounds meaning it's not going to distract from anything <laughs> so you, you just see me following around my toddler this is what we do i just follow her around and then happen to snap some pictures so i'm going to take some pictures now and then i think i'm just going to do a voiceover about tips that i do to get her to be more engaged um i don't think they should always be smiling or anything or always looking at the camera but i know some people prefer that so i'll give some tips as well and but now i'm actually going to snap away i don't have anyone with me so i can't do both at the same time i can't film and take pictures at the same time so i'm going to get into my photography mode and then come back with the final results I changed my mind and i'm going to screen record my camera 
I don't know why I didn't think of this. I can multitask. So now I'm going to show you, um, I speak in Spanish, so I'll put some subtitles to my toddlers, but it'll hopefully give you all some tips, okay. And I do want to pin point out, this is after my toddler now knows that we do pictures like this, so all, obviously every, all of the directions that I'm going to give her are because she's used to it, and it's not so much um, like, oh, what are you telling me to do, you know, she knows about pictures. So sorry if this seems too easy to be true, or too good to be true, but I'm going to attempt to take some pictures now. Okay, vente, Lenita. Vamos a ponerte aquí en este árbol, okay? And then I'm going to be snapping away. So you can see that how the, the background gets a little blurred out. Okay, pon tu mano aquí. Pon tu mano aquí. I'm telling her to put her hand there. Agárralo bien, no te va a arruinar tus uñas, okay? And then I'm kind of fixing her outfit a little bit. Sorry, okay. And then this is where I would be snapping away. You can see me taking pictures. Ooh, that one was really pretty. Okay, I. So now I'm just taking some pictures. A ver, pon tu mano. She really wants to take care of her nails, but I feel like it looks unnatural. So I'm telling her to put her hand down. Okay, a ver. Wow, que bonita. Me gusta esa sonrisa. See, and you can see. She doesn't get, um, she doesn't stay engaged for long, and that's okay. Like, now she's running off, and again, I just really want her to enjoy herself and not think of pictures as, like, this horrible thing. So she knows that, you know, once we get the shot, she can run off. <laughs> as funny as that sounds. But now I'm going to attempt some in this floral background. I think it's really cute. I don't know, go, um, with the flowers on her shirt. Here's is a stick. So let's go. Okay, Elenita, te vas a poner aquí, okay? Y te voy a dar el stick. Aquí. ¿Y me puedes dar tu, tu pose de princess? Wow. I wish my um, shutter speed was faster, but usually I try and, you know, take good pics. And this is what I mentioned earlier about shadows. Normally when it's more sunset, you wouldn't see all these little shadows on her shirt. So I don't really like this area. Let's move to a different one. Aquí, Elenita. Here the sun is behind her, so now there are no shadows. Okay, te voy a agarrar una flor, okay? A ver, ahí. Yay, bravo! And sometimes I sing songs or, you know, chat about life, whatever. And you can see the type of frame that I'm trying to get. Te voy a dar la flor. ¿Y te puedes parar ahí? Y this is the type of frame, since we're head to toe, this is the... What is it called? This is the shot that I'm going for. A ver, ira. Mira que bonitas las flores. Wow, ¿quieres una flor? And she really likes flowers too, so... <laughs> this was probably a bad day to take pics because she's really particular about her nails. Do you see how she's like holding them up like this, like for dear life, trying to make sure nothing happens to them? Um, but okay, hopefully that makes sense now that I'm... Again, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. <laughs> Um, but hopefully that gave you all some tips. Again, this is all because I implemented all of my tips. And especially, mm -hmm. I forgot what tip it was, especially the tip about going out three to four times a week. So your toddler, child, baby, teen, whoever gets used to the pictures. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good shot right here. A ver, Anita, ¿te puedes parar aquí? Mira, ¿te puedes parar aquí? See, every once in a while, I just kind of draw her attention back. A ver, tu carita. Wow, que bonita. And again, it's not so much about, um, what's the word? About smiling and looking at the camera. I'm all ducking. We're under a tree. This is an adventure. Um, it's not so much about ducking. I mean, it's not so much about smiling and looking at the camera. I'm all flustered. I have a lot of anxiety today, so this also helps me out to just be out here and be one with nature. I feel like I really need fresh air these days, so that's why I'm kind of flustered and whatnot. But I love filming videos as well and giving you all tips. So here I am. Hopefully this helped someone out there. Um, hold on, my toddler wants something. ¿Qué quieres, Anita? I think she wants to grab something from this tree. It has like these weird little fruit things. I don't think they're edible, but she likes to collect them. She likes to gather. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today's video. Let me go back to my other filming. That is it for today's video. Um, a lot of it just depends on, you know, 
the lighting, the background, and just um, what you're trying to shoot today since it was a full outfit. I tried to get the whole outfit in the shot. Sometimes we just care about the bow. <laughs> so, so closer up shots are better. And sometimes, you know, I'm trying to get the jeans in there. If you want to just do some close up shots of jeans or whatnot. What I mean is going in like this, you know, getting all the details. Jeans always sag on her, though. So that wouldn't be one of them. <laughs> but hopefully that, again, gave you all some tips. I'm going to go now. We are going to go get the mail. We love packages. So. Again, this outing is not just for pictures. But that is all from me, Foxy Luna. Um, and see you in the next video.